Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today, we're going back to the world of the Star Wars mission fleet as we look at Captain Rex with his AT-RT. Okay, so this is one of the more deluxe mission fleet sets. Um, it comes in the little box. Uh, we have a wonderful illustration of Rex um, piloting the AT-RT as it's going across the battlefield. Um, it looks great. I love how this has like the little window with the action figure um, displayed. Uh, for me, that really hits like the nostalgia strings because um, growing up during the 80s, like if you got like a GI Joe vehicle and it came with an action figure, they'd always have that little window and it'd like show off the action figure. So for me, that's kind of cool. It's a nice throwback. You know, I like I like that kind of stuff. Um, on the side, we have the play features. Um, so you have the rocket launcher. You can attach to the side leg. And then here's the projectile firing. On the back, um, uh, we have Captain Rex, the AT-RT, and this is one-to-one -one scale. So this image on the box is the um, exact size of the vehicle itself. Um, we have the rocket launcher, uh, the projectile missile, yeah, this is great. Okay, let's get this open. Uh, we have the instruction manual here. So you have to attach the legs A and B. And it shows the different options for the rocket launcher. Alright, so first impressions of the toy while still in the tray. Um, it looks great. Uh, this is a very affordable set, and I think what you're getting for the money is well worth it. Um, you're getting a great Captain Rex action figure, and then you're getting the cool AT-RT vehicle. So here's Captain Rex. And just like on the show, Rex comes with his two pistols so he could dual wield them. Unfortunately, there is no holster on the figure that he can store the weapons. So you'll just have to make do. Um, but otherwise, the figure is great. Nice representation of Captain Rex at the small scale. He has the shoulder pauldron, the rangefinder on his helmet. Um, he has his markings on the helmet. So I believe this is his phase. All right, so Rex is different than the other troopers. So when all the other troopers upgrade to the phase two armor, um, Rex, he kind of, I forgot what the reason was, um, but for whatever reason, he actually doesn't go to the standard issue um, helmet. He actually cobbles together his own helmet. So that's why if you look at... Uh, Captain Rex's um, upgraded helmet. There's all those scorch marks on it because he kind of like pieced it together himself. So yeah, nice figure all around. Oh yeah, in terms of the articulation, if you haven't handled one of these before, uh, um, the head rotates, the arms rotate, and they can also go out. Uh, there's wrist articulation. Unfortunately, there's no elbow articulation, there is no waist articulation, no knee or ankle articulation, and all the figures could essentially do is just kind of like kick up. So it's a very basic, um, you know, feature. They could just pretty much just sit down, which is all right, considering you know, um, you know, a lot of these figures are sized to be playable with these vehicles. Uh, Here is the projectile. Here is the rocket launcher. Um, it, I believe it's spring loaded. And then you just click. You just, yeah, so you just depress on the scope and it shoots.
All right, we have the ATRT here that we have to assemble. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, the instructions A and B. So these are affectionately known as chicken walkers. Um, it predates the ATST that we saw in the original trilogy. And for those of you that remember, I believe the first appearance of the ATRT was in um, episode three, Revenge of the Sith. It's shortly after um, Palpatine executes Order 66 and the clones turn on the Jedis. Uh, there's a scene on Kashyyyk where you see the ATRTs um, hopping along through the swamp and then you see kind of like the corpses of some of the Wookiees in the water. Really nice size um, vehicle for this playset. Uh, like I've I've gotten the speeder bike in the in some of the uh, previous sets, and it's a decent build. But this one just feels cooler. I think partially because of the height, it just feels like you're getting a a little bit more bang for your buck. Um, in terms of articulation, uh, unfortunately, only the legs move at the top. You don't get additional articulation. Um, at the knees or ankle. It's just strictly this, which is all right. Um, so both legs move. Um, it looks like the gun mounted underneath. I'm not sure if it rotates. I No, it, do, it doesn't rotate. It looks like it's keyed in. Um, I, if I'm wrong on that, just correct me in the comments below, but I don't believe this rotates. It looks like it's a, it actually has a tab, so it's only going to go in the one way. Um, there's a communications array at the top. Um, there's pouches that are strictly ornamental on the side. Um, as the instructions stated, you could take the rocket launcher and attach it to the side leg. Like that. And it looks nice. Um, and then you get the seat wrecks down inside of it. And then you have your ATRT. Really nice vehicle. Um, it's affordable. I think it's a great uh, desk toy. Uh, kids will love it. Uh, the one thing I could appreciate with the Mission Fleet stuff is that, <clears throat> is that um, so it doesn't seem like Hasbro, they're, they're not making as many vehicles as they used to for the three and three quarter line because I think their focus is kind of divided between Black Series, uh, you know, the Vintage line, and then Mission Fleet. So it's not like they could allocate all the resources towards this one line. Um, Back in the day, it was great when they made so much accessories just for the three and three quarter line because that's what they're focused on. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't have that anymore. But it is cool to get to get you know those vehicles at least in a mission fleet scale. Uh, the mission fleet stuff it kind of reminds me of like back in the day with like action fleet, but these are somewhat larger. And the nice thing with Mission Fleet 2 is that since they're so small, it's easy to collect a large amount of it and not take up a lot of space. And they're just fun to play with. I think if you have children or little ones, this is the way to go for their Star Wars. Alright, so if I had to rate this set on a scale of 1 to 10, for me, it's an easy 8. Um, you're, for one, you're getting Captain Rex. He's one of the most beloved and iconic characters from the last, I don't know, 15 years. Um, if not more than that. I can't remember when Clone Wars first came out, but it's been a long time. But the character... Fans have really grown to love the character a lot, and it's great that we're getting him at this scale. Um, I really hope in the future that maybe we'll get variations of him, like maybe in his Phase 1 armor or uh, Captain Rex as he appears in Rebels. That'd be great. Uh, the Walker, I think it's an awesome piece, especially for the price point and for its size. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have as much articulation as I'd like, but for what it does have, it gets the job done. And it's incredibly detailed, the sculpting's beautiful. So yeah, excellent set all the way around. Highly recommend it. Uh, so wrapping this video up, once again, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, uh, be safe, take care of yourself, and most importantly, be happy. All right, I'll see you again.